Have you ever tried to run Facebook ads and then you get the ad set up and then you forget about it? You come back and you find out that, you know, it was it was underperforming. You were spending way too much and you wish you just had eyes on it all the time. Well, let's solve that. And that's what we're going to cover in today's video covering Facebook rules. So one of the things that we look at in Facebook advertising is ad creative burnout. And what that means is the amount of times an ad or a specific creative is shown to a particular audience or group of Facebook users. And that is represented under frequency. So if you haven't been able to find that, you can obviously go and customize your columns and bring up that, that metric right here. Now, what we like to do as a rule of thumb, and you could be a little bit different and every audience could have a higher threshold, is we say if an ad has been shown to the average user five or more times in a set period, and we usually look at it um, you know, in a, a 30 day period, then we would consider that that ad is beginning to burn out. Um, and the reason for that is the audience is, is too small for the amount of budget. So you can either reduce your budget or increase your audience and then get that frequency down. Now, this one here, this is obviously just our account, all these ads have been turned off, but this one here, let's say, is over that threshold of five. So it's at five and a half. Facebook has this little option up here called rules, and you can do that at the campaign ad set or ads level, um, depending on what it is, but it's gonna be the exact same setup. What we're gonna do here is we're gonna say, create a new rule, and we're gonna give it a name. So what I'm gonna give it is frequency is greater than five. Um, and then I'm gonna say, turn off ad. That's gonna be the rule. Now you can apply it to one campaign, so one that you'd have selected, which here is that one, or you can say all active ad sets in that campaign or all active ads or all active ad campaigns or all ad sets and all ads, right? So you've got your, your ability to do that. Now, if you were in the actual ad level, you could select a couple of the ads and then just have those selected there. So we're gonna do this clear across the board and say all active ad campaigns. Now, what do we wanna have happen? So you've got a couple of options that are in here. You can turn off the campaigns, you can turn on campaigns, you can send a notification. So if you want it to just be notified and then go in and check and you can make that decision at that point. And then you've got budget adjustments. So if the frequency is too high, one of the options is to decrease the daily budget if you're doing on a daily ad spend. So you could actually set that in here. In this case, what I'm gonna show you is just turn off the campaign. Now, if you were to decrease, you could actually go in here and say percentage decrease. So you could decrease it by a 10%, 20%, whatever that is, or your minimum daily floor budget in here. Uh, so I don't wanna decrease it more than $10 a day, but we're set at, let's say $30 a day, we wanna decrease by, by you know 30%, so we could do that. And then your frequency in here is every hour, every 12 hours, bi-weekly, weekly. So there's some options that are in here. So let's go back and let's just say we're gonna turn off that campaign. Now, what is the condition of that? It is going to be the frequency is greater than five. So let's put five in there. And we're gonna add that rule. Now you can stack rules in here, you can hit plus. Um, so for example, if it was for certain ads where your frequency was over five, but your, your um, ad spend was over $50 a day, you could do conditions like that. So you can start to build kind of the automated processes that you wanna have in place for your ad campaign. And now here the time range is based on what? And this is important. Where is it going to calculate that, that frequency from? So I know we said the last 30 days, so that's what I'm gonna select there. And then do you wanna schedule this? So continuously means that it's gonna be on all the time. It's gonna be looking usually every 30 minutes. Now daily could be, you might have peak times where you know the overnight hours, you know, you don't really want to consider that, but maybe through the day you want to, or you want to look at it, you know, in the overnight hours, but not through the day, completely up to you. And then here, do you want to be notified when that rule takes place? You can do it by Facebook, which is by default, or you can get an email, a copy once a day um, to see if any of those rules have been met. And then you simply hit create, and now it is set up under rules. And you can come back here at any point and manage those rules and it will come in here and you can go ahead and adjust them, turn them on, turn them off. You can create multiple rules. So there's a lot of functionality that you can do in the rules um, that are there and it allows you to do, you know, quite a bit of things um, that you might want to consider um, to automate those processes. Um, things like, you know, you know, I don't want to spend over X amount um, per day, right? Or, or, you know, if the, 
um, you know, the results aren't there. So for example, if your cost per result is over, you know, $30, uh, that would be something that you might want to create a rule in here where it's like, okay, all ad active campaigns, we want to, um, you know, either turn off or notify. So we'll do turn off again, you know, <clears throat> and that is going to be based on the cost per result. So if you are doing, you know, conversion based ads and it's, you know, a lead magnet or it's even a purchase conversion and you say, okay, we're selling a $30 product and we know our, our cost to acquire and with our margins and everything, we don't want to spend over $15 to get somebody to buy that. We could actually say the cost per result, if it is greater than you know, $15, then we want to turn off that, um, that campaign, essentially, right? We'll also get the notification so you know that it's been turned off. Um, you can go in and make adjustments to that. So you're allowed to, to kind of cap those results based on on the way that you're setting things up. So a lot of cool functionality just within um, Ads Manager here in Facebook. So check it out, the rules. I guarantee it's gonna save you uh, a lot of headache, a lot of frustration, and essentially uh, save you money in the long run. So if you like this video and wanna see more, go to our YouTube channel at Blue Cow or at youtube.com slash Blue Cow Marketing. Please subscribe to us there. We love putting out this content for you.